In this lesson, we'll continue a review of Math Test 8, Section 4, Calculate Permitted, Questions 9 through 11. This is a three-part question. 11 is on the next page. I'm going to do all three in this video. The glass pictured above can hold a maximum volume of 473 cubic centimeters, which is approximately 16 fluid ounces. And we have the formula for volume. Let's take a look at the first question, number 9. What is value of K? All right, so here's K. And we're given the volume in the reference information, 473. So we're just going to plug in 473 equals 7 times pi. We're going to solve for k. And this is over 48. And so the first step is we're going to get rid of this 48. We're going to multiply both sides by 48. So 473 times 48. And we get 22704. So 20. 2704 equals 7 pi k cubed. 7 times pi, pi is just a little over 3. I know 7 times pi, I think it's 22 are very close. So 7 times pi, yes, it's 21.9, and we're just going to call it 22. So 22 k cubed equals 22704. And now we're going to divide both sides by 22. So 22704 divided by 22. And we get k cubed is 1032. So k cubed is 1032. The last step is we just take the cube root and we can solve for k. And so here and cube root. 10.11 if we round up. Yes. And that's the answer. D. All right, let's take a look at question number 10. Water pours into the glass slowly at a constant rate. Which of the following graphs best illustrates the height of the water in the glass as it fills? So here we're told it's a constant rate. And I think your first inclination might be a linear equation, but be careful. Look at the glass. It is not symmetric. At the base, the diameter is smaller than at the height. So even though you're pouring at a constant rate, it's going to fill much faster. And then as the diameter expands, it's going to take longer. And so you're looking not for a linear equation, but for an exponential. And you want it, the, the movement of the graph to be steeper at the bottom because it's going to fill faster. But as it gets to the top, it's going to taper off. It's going to have a um, a slighter increase. And so we know it's not the linear equation. Let's take a look at all the choices. Definitely not this, which is just totally no slope. So which one is it? We want a very a fast increase and then tapering off. It is C, right? Because here we see it actually gets steeper toward the top and it would take longer because its diameter is um, is larger at the top. So the answer here is C. And we're going to do the next question number 11. And this is still the same three-part question. Jenny has a pitcher that contains one gallon of water. How many times could Jenny completely fill the glass with one gallon of water? So they tell us a gallon is 128 fluid ounces. And if you go back to the reference information above, we're also told that the glass is 16. Right? And they're both in the same units, fluid ounces and fluid ounces. So all you're going to do, this is actually an easier question for the last one of the three part. How many glasses could she um, fill right, completely with the gallon of water? And so we're going to take 128 and divide it by 16. That's it. And the answer is 8. 